Uh, yeah. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Please don't. This witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. For once, I agree with Edgeworth. <laughs> yes, for once, he's actually Edgeworth and not Edgeworthless. <laughs> That was actually really good. <laughs> I've been waiting to make that joke for like a few episodes now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the right moment. <laughs> I've been there before when you just have an insult, but you don't know, you just don't have the time to make it. And then, yes. and then you do have the opportunity to make it, and you, like, don't know how to speak correctly. Yes. Anyways. I would like to request a ten-minute break. Yeah. Yes! Yes, quite. I need one, too. The witness is confused because he's lying! I thought he was objecting to a 10 minute break. He kind of is. Huh? Because also, if there's a 10 minute break, that gives the witness more time to come up with an excuse. Good point. I am Pat t- <laughs> I am- I am- I emphatically request that there will be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. No, the witness would care to testimony. <laughs> the crowd's on my side for once. No slipping out of this one, White. Mr. White! Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that first thing fall. Wow. <laughs> this is, um... Very solid testimony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard some uh Dang thing ball. that that fell. So I looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> then the next moment I saw Miss Me Mia. Yeah, Mia 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 yeah. Mia run to the last. <laughs> but like what why does he keep saying Miss Mia? He also referred to the judge as Mr. Your Honor, so... True, but like... Usually it's like little kids that... Obviously, cold he is a little kid. Pieces, but like... No. Because a little kid would understand, it would would like be able to comprehend how like horrible the stuff he's doing is. Yes. He's not a human at all. Yes, he's not. The killer you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, it. Dad. Objection. Um. There, there is a contradiction in this statement right here. Turn and ran for the door. Then you did it w in with single th whack. <laughs> no need for sound effects. Mm. <laughs> 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 this 
judges. This is really weird. <laughs> right? Yes. Very well. Let's examine cross -examine. Oh, I thought he was going to say yes, I will cross examine the witness. <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay. Yeah, it's called anxiety. It happens to me all the time. It's because you know that you're going to get caught. You baby. Wow. Deal with it. <laughs> Future me, please edit the uh, deal with it glasses onto Phoenix's face. Yes. This is almost over. <laughs> like, he's very obviously oh, guilty. Nice. This guy is like. So stupid. Very stupid. Okay. Okay, well, let's. That's very big. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Um, that thing was something. Um, it was a uh, glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? 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 You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yeah. yeah. Then change your testimony to reflect that. How many mirrors do they have in this courthouse? And also, maybe um, it's I'm the same one. Sure. Um, also, I am wondering if the maintenance people took care of the bees yet. I hope they like put them all in one room, and they're going to throw this guy in there. Yes, um, we Anyways. To the bees we moved into wherever this guy is going. He, yes. He's done. So, sorry, my bad. The witness will revise the testimony! Okay, yep, of course. This isn't going as he expected. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, if we take a look at the floor plans, the window is right here, and the light stand was in the corner, so, and after it was broken, it said the broken remains of a glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. So, we're going to save, just in case. I'm going to present the shards. Okay. Mr. White, it was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. 
just by seeing the broken pe pizzas. What? <laughs> just by seeing the broken pieces. You would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question! <laughs> so, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? Correct. That would be no problemo, right? Okay. Hmm. Big problemo. There's a big problemo, or I mean problem here. <coughs> what problem is that? Mr. White, let me make sure you have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel. Before the incident occurred. Correct. That is so. It's conclusive, definite, unimpeachable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? What? He'll have proof you. <laughs> I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over because of what I said before. The light stand is out of view of the window. Look at this. These are the floor plans <laughs> to the scene of the murder. Yes. Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> that face. <coughs> Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. get her verdict. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? Wh what? Erk, I forgot about Edward Liz. <laughs> He's so worthless that I just forgot he existed. Like, he hasn't been saying anything. Mr. Right, why, 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 
anyway, I think that's how that's how shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm. What? I said you should confess your crime. Guess that you place the wiretap. The w wiretap? Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Um, this distinguished <laughs> members of court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Slightly? Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is CEO of Blue Court. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the all offices of Miss Bay. Oh. <laughs> what does that have to do? Your Honor! Question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, y you wouldn't. Mr. White, I order you to place <laughs> the wiretap you entered in Miss office. In order, not I, I order you to. <laughs> oh. Am I correct? Nope. <clears throat> correct. You are both correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, I, I won't. In order to place wiretap, I breached Miss May White White Fay Call Offices of Law. That is when I saw the that a cure said light Sunday. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth Lex. Your honor. That's just his new nickname for when we're mad at him. <laughs> yes. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made a this position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand in office. He shown that there was only time once seen it that very moment of murder thus Mr. Wright would like to believe that you should believe him <laughs> I think <laughs> however in, in fact Mr. Why I had been to the office well before th Well before Can you can you finish the line? Murder took place. Okay. He went to place the wiretap. He could have seen me. Dress like Pinehead. Here go, Mr. Phoenix. The right theory is revealed that it is baseless conjecture. It is. <laughs> Mr. What? You will testify to the court about this wiretap. <laughs> An ugly face. Leave it to me. I... I feel faint.
It was beginning September, the week before murder. I had entered the fake home lawful office. <laughs> of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when they saw this glass light stand. So, you saw the stand of night, the night before the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen by the sound. Correct! That is right. Yes, that is what correct means. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Ray. You may cross examination. Yeah. God, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. I. You just press, I guess. D do you have proof? This is from May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh? Uh, right. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss, Miss May? <coughs> Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in law offices. They were obviously Mr. What? He said they were unidentified! And if I know Edward, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the fake old law for 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 He could've- he- he could've said that then. Because, like, if they were unidentified, they could've still been... What? Why did you tap me his phone? No bearing on the current case, Your Honor. The new corp was a detective agency of sorts. Yeah, like a five year old playing detective. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. What? Since when are you protecting any of your clients? <sighs> You're not protecting anyone. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish. So I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Sus beauty is with other letters attached to it. Thing. Attack. Does it not? Ugh. Well, I mean, you have a lot of attention I, I that's literally drawn to you, so... I'm literally getting a thinking feeling. I guess not. This guy. Like, friend. Although I guess ugly. Friend. Okay. What? I'm literally getting a thinking feeling in my stomach from this guy. Same. Also, if you need to use a name, say, uh, you, you can say Raymer. Okay. Just not real names. Yeah. Why? Yes. That is all. Damn it, there's not nothing there for me to press him on. Well, maybe he's rebel well, enough that I can bluff something out of him. There's the floor and there's the wall. You can push him against the wall and slap his face. Uh oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid. That's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. 
the time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Uh, we're going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching, Pharaoh! Pharaoh!